Are you looking for a great Scrap Buster block? Join me today. I've got a really good one for you. Hi, I'm Roberta from Quilt Crafters Corner. Today I want to show you a great Scrap Buster block. If you're new here, please join and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so that you know when I release a new video. So let's get into today's block. Today's block is a Scrap Buster block. I love this block because you can use all of your scraps up on it. Now this block can be made out of any size blocks that you have. If you've cut something up and you've got extra blocks, this is a great one to use. You just need two blocks for this and it'll work really good. So let's take a look at today's block. So here's the block itself and as you can see, it looks complicated, but it is really, really quite simple. Now I use three inch blocks. This could be made with four inch blocks, five inch blocks, six inch blocks, whatever blocks you have, this can be made. You just need two of the same block. Now, I like to make my half square triangles a little bigger. So I used a three inch block and a three and a half inch block. And this is the one that I will be using for my half square triangle. And what I do is these can be, now you can do this all out of the three inch blocks if you are very careful about how you sew them together. And what you need to do is you need to put your ruler with the quarter inch seam right on those two diagonal points and then trim and then you can sew these together or you can just sew them together and trim later. But then you can use all three inch blocks for this. Because I like to trim my half score triangles up, they just look nicer, they look better, I, I'm using a three and a half inch block. So, in order to do this, in order to make half square triangles, you're gonna need to cut this in half. And I'll cut my three and a halfs And this way you can mix and match. Now if, and I, what I'll do is I will sew these together. I'll mix those with one of the other ones. And I will show you how this begins to develop. So let me take this to the machine and sew this. Okay, there's my first. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this up to three inches. And I like trimming my half square triangles up. That way I know my point is going to come out really nice and I'm going to get, I am going to get this. And there is the first part of my block. So now let me add two more. Okay, and I will take this to the machine and sew it. And now I'll trim this one up.
All right, so there are my blocks. There's my blocks set together. Now what I'll do is I will just pull these over and take this to the machine and so chain stitch all of these together. Okay, as you can see, these are all together. I've just chain stitched them and didn't clip them. I took them to the iron and I pressed one, one way this way and to the other side so that when I go to put these together, these will all nest. And you really want these seams to nest together so that you get a nice fit. So now I will go and I'll sew a quarter inch seam here. Okay, there's my block. Now what I do is I iron to the middle on one and then the next one I will iron out. That way when I go to attach these blocks together, they will nest here and here. Now originally this pattern was with Y seams. Instead of half square triangles, they used a whole piece of fabric and fit that seam in. Y seams are very complicated for beginner and even intermediate seamstress or quilters. So I made it a little simpler by using half square triangles. Now if you use directional fabric, make sure that you have the direction of your fabric, like here, going in the same direction. Some of the prints doesn't matter nearly as much because they all just kind of match and blend together. But if you have a directional fabric, try to make sure that you've got it going in the same direction. So that's why I chose that one fabric, so that you can see how directional fabric affects this. So as I start to put this together, and I start to make you know, more blocks. Right now, these are two separate blocks. And... Oh, I don't have that one sewn. So just the pattern can continue like this and just make these as a block and then just make add a row together. Or you can just make them as individual blocks like this. As you can see, this is a very, very useful way to use up those scraps that you have. I made it with three inch and three and a half inch squares. You can make it with any size. It could be four, it could be four and a half, it could be five. Whatever you have that you need to use up, this is a great way to do it. I hope you enjoyed this and go get those scraps out and see what you can make with this. Really simple, really easy pattern to do. Thank you all for watching. And if you want to join a group of like-minded quilters, come join Quilter Swarm on the Facebook page. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.